All right. In my previous videos, I talked about using enzyme matrix value in diet formulation. And in part two, I touched a little bit on some criticism around the uh, using the method to uh, recalculate the nutrients requirements when you when using an enzyme in a diet. So in this video, I'm going to continue on uh, on calculating the maximum price that you need to pay for an enzyme. Because at the end of the day, when you are using a product, you know, feed additive, you want to gain profit, right? If you are going to use enzyme and, you know, that enzyme is going to provide some extra nutrients, I mean, liberate those nutrients from the diet, it means that it's going to decrease dietary cost. But the thing is that the enzyme price should not exceed that reduction in dietary cost. If it does, so it doesn't make sense to use uh, that product in the diet. So you need to pay attention to this stuff. So let's get started about calculation around maximum price that you should pay for an enzyme. I'll talk about this very briefly. In my first video, I talked about how you need to use, uh, you know, you need to recalculate the nutrient requirements when adding uh, an enzyme in a diet. So I explained, you know, you need to take away the provided amount of nutrients as a result of using an enzyme from the nutrients requirements and recalculate the updated nutrients requirements. And then try to formulate your diet based on the updated nutrient requirements values, right? So now we are going to calculate the economic evaluation of an enzyme price. If, it's, uh, if it makes sense to pay, I don't know, whatever dollar for a kilogram of enzyme or not. So to do that, first, the first thing you need to do is to calculate the dietary cost difference between diets with and without an enzyme. So just an example, let's imagine I have formulated a diet without using the enzyme. And the dietary cost is 260 bucks per ton. And then I'm going to use that enzyme in the diet because I'm going to decrease the nutrient requirements, nutrient specification in the diet. So my diet is gonna cost less. For example, now, after adding enzyme, after calculating, you know, uh, new nutrient requirements based on the uh, enzyme matrix value, now my dietary cost is 240 bucks per ton. So how much is the difference? $20 per ton. It means that by using this enzyme, I reduced the dietary cost by $20 per ton. Now, we need to know the inclusion rate of the enzyme in our diet. If you remember for this specific enzyme that I talked about in my previous videos, the inclusion rate was 350 grams per ton, right? So, the inclusion rate is 350 grams per ton or 0.035%. Now, this is the calculation. You need to write, you know, a ratio. You need to say, okay, I'm using 350 grams of this enzyme 
and it's gonna reduce the dietary cost by $20 per ton. Now, what the, uh, you know, what should it be the price for 1000 grams of this enzyme or one kilogram of this enzyme, 1000 grams or one kilogram. If you just calculate this, it means that 1000 times 20 divided by 350, you will get $58 per 1000 grams or one kilogram of that enzyme. It means that if the inclusion rate of this enzyme is 350 grams per ton, and by using this enzyme, my dietary cost is gonna, you know, decrease by $20 per ton, a maximum price that I need to pay for this enzyme is $58. Now, if the price of the enzyme is higher than this, it doesn't make sense to spend more money on a product that is going to give you less profit. But if the enzyme price is less than $58 per kilogram, it's great. You can use it and you can calculate your profit as a result of using the enzyme in the diet. But these calculations that I showed you here, in my opinion, personally, in my opinion, it makes sense for grower diet, for finisher diet, in broilers, or let's say for, I don't know, developer diet, in layer, layer diet, in layers, in broiler breeders. But not for a starter and pre-starter diet. Be careful. As I talked in my previous videos about formulating super pre-starter diet, in those diets, in that phase, early life, our main goal is to create is to have a robust, a strong chick with a robust immune system, with a robust digestive system to start the life. So over there, we should not pay attention to the cost. In fact, least cost feed formulation should not be used during the early life for all poultry species i'm not just talking about broilers we need to pay more attention some people say okay what about broiler breeders you are going to feed restrict them right so how does it make sense to give them an expensive diet during the early life, during the first week. We say it makes sense. It does make sense. Because when you are spending more money on a starter diet during early life, you are investing on a robust chick on a robust hen in the future on a robust rooster in the future because we are building a strong foundation for the future so all of these economic evaluations are for the diets after let's say 10 days of age. Before that, please do not pay attention to dietary cost. Just feed them with 
ex with an expensive diet with high quality ingredients use enzyme to to increase you know digestion absorption without paying attention to the enzyme price that's my two cents for today i hope you enjoyed this video please let me know if you have any questions down there in the comments it's really important to you know have an ongoing discussion i'll try to reply to all of your comments in the comments area and please let me know if you have any suggestion for the future topics. Take care and have fun.